What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lima C here, and what's up, YouTube? Mr. Lima C here, and today we're looking at Moon Beast Productions Untitled ARPG Game. Now, this is a very unique and different take on an ARPG, which is something that I'm actually very excited about and something that I enjoy. Uh, because I feel like in today's modern ARPG world, we're getting a lot more of the same Z's kind of stuff. I feel like when you go back to older games, you have a lot of variety between things like Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 and Dungeon Siege and Titan Quest and Torchlight and Nox and all of this. They look very different. They feel very different. They play very different. Whereas I'm finding a lot of the more modern games have a similar style. A lot of them look the same. It's hard to tell the difference. That's my personal opinion. You might feel otherwise, but I'm feeling in that sort of way. So we have Moonbeast, who has released and created this game right here. And I'm just going to talk while I let some of it play in the background. They did an initial demo of it. And I think there is a lot of interesting, cool parts to this. Number one, there is verticality. You can see right there, teleporting up and falling down off of these cliffs um, is super interesting because now you're really building a world where you can go anywhere. That's something that they really talked about wanting to have. Um, and I love that idea. I think that's something that we haven't really seen before. Sure, we have games, you know, in Diablo 4, you can go to the footsteps and then you'll climb up the one spot or slide down the one spot. Um, in Path of Exile and, you know, in the other games, you can like teleport up and down, but you're just kind of teleporting on these spots. You're not able to really just like fall off cliffs and such. And that's something that I think does look really interesting with this game. Now, this is a pre-alpha demo, pre-pre part, very, very early on. So don't feel like, uh, you know, it's anything like this is what it's going to be. But there's the idea. And here you can even see one of the big pieces is that there is destruction and malleability of all of the land. You can sit there and actually destroy the land. You can build the land up um, and create the world and it will persist throughout. So there is, in my opinion, a lot of really cool potential with this idea of building and, and shifting and adjusting the land. I can already think of some cheese strategies that could potentially work, and I wonder how they'll build around it. All of these pieces, um, very interesting, right? So what they have right now really is what looks like to be a sandbox. Uh, they're very big on the modding community. Moonbeast created, um, you know, you've got Peter Who, you've got uh, Phil Shank, you've got Eric Schaefer, a lot of Blizzard North Diablo 2 creators. So we're taking kind of from that team and that knowledge base when we are building this game. I say we like I'm a part of it. I'm not part of it. While they are building this game, which, you know, is very exciting to me just overall. But um, they've got this really, really cool just world building set up sandbox and it's going to allow for modders and they're going to really support modding have you know kind of official modding servers so you create a mod you submit it if it's really cool they'll allow like they'll host a server for it people can come in and out of your world um, all sorts of plans and stuff for things like that i can already see like pitting two servers against each other or pitting, you know, two worlds against each other, have the lands collide, and now you go and fight and destroy each other's lands. You can think of, like, capture the flag games where the flags are in castles and you're, like, destroying the castles. Like, the mods of everything that you can imagine from MMOs and RPGs to MOBAs to uh, just whatever crazy games, you can already imagine it, right? Which I think is super cool. And the fact that people can join together in servers and mod uh, that same world together, destroy and build up that same world together, I think is a very interesting idea. Now, concerns of it 
potentially, you know, from hearing all of this, because you're like, hey, that's a lot of great, cool stuff that you've been been talking about. It does feel like there is a, a big scope. This is not sponsored, none of that. I'm just very interested in what the old creators of Diablo 2 are making today. Um, but there is a, a lot of potential scope creep in here, right? It seems like the possibilities are endless. And when the possibilities are endless, that definitely has a little bit of a worry where you're like, is there just going to be so many things that they constantly want to implement and have built and have all this stuff? And it just becomes difficult, you know? I can see that being a potential issue right there. Um, other concerns are, will this work in an ARPG uh, world style, you know? Will this be something where I can play through the game in this destructible, persistent world and it give me a good enough feeling of an ARPG? Um, because it is kind of a Minecraft ARPG uh, style and will that be too much? Right? Does that not hit the feeling that you actually kind of want to feel? I could see that potentially being something as well that is an issue. And so that's something that, you know, I imagine they're going to have to look at. The third piece, of course, is what is the actual ARPG going to look like? What are the itemizations? Or what is the itemization? What are the skill trees like? How do stats work? Is there level scaling? All of this stuff. Um, has a lot of questions, right? Uh, is this game going to be so fun to build and not fun to play? I don't know. So these are all questions and things that are to be answered later on. They haven't built in much for itemization and stuff right now because they're very focused on getting this world, uh, you know, kind of sandbox created. And again, I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job. I mean, you can just go and modify all sorts of stuff all over the place. So I want to see uh, if there's the, where does he build? Like he builds like a pond and then he builds a waterfall coming off the pond and like all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, the worlds are procedurally generated. They have multiple generators, which are awesome. So you can just ask it to procedurally generate a uh, lava fortress and it'll build the fortress right there and animate it and have all that stuff. You can a ask it to build this, diff you know, a dungeon, all these different worlds. Um, again, I think the base piece that they're putting out there is amazing. And even if their ARPG they build on top of it for some reason doesn't seem that fun, it feels like there's so much modability and so many cool things in that way that maybe they could just own the world and let all the people build awesome mods. So it's like, well, their ARPG isn't that great, but somebody built an awesome MMO, so I want to go play that. Or somebody built an awesome MOBA in it, so I'm going to go play that. I could see that being a world that could exist. But additionally, maybe the ARPG uh, is really fun as well, right? Like, we don't have that information. Um, but it's just like, it's just a cool idea. And I love that they're supporting Solo Cell Found. They're su supporting Full Trade on it. Um, they're really supporting the mod community. It feels like they're really trying to play into and, and just really lock down that idea of the old school mindset of like giving the players a lot of control, which I think is a, a great way. So the idea is great. Can they execute and take it further? We'll have to see. I will post a link to their Discord down below where you can talk to them and ask questions um, and provide feedback as well. They're definitely taking all of that. Um, I will provide a link to this whole video. This is like an hour where they kind of run through and just, you know, kind of destroy the world, kill stuff, just keep it very basic and fun. Um, but they talk a lot about their different like philosophy with the pieces, what the progression's been like and stuff. So I just thought this was a really cool stream. Um, the look of the game, I think, is very unique. It's really hard for me to even think of the game that it really looks like. It's got a little bit of a Zelda feel, a little bit of a Nox feel, a little bit of 
uh, torchlight feel, but it doesn't feel like any of them. It feels very unique in its own way. And then, of course, with the whole moddable world and everything, it, you know, takes kind of like a, its own shape in that regard as well. So in a world of uh, generic, this is a very creative and interesting take on an RPG. And I'm very excited to see what happens with it. So we will follow along more in the future as they get a name for it and as more stuff happens. But uh, yeah, this was their first look demo into the game. And I think this world is very excited, exciting. Uh, and I am personally excited to uh, learn more. So that is all I have for you today, YouTube. I'd love to hear your thoughts and kind of this initial look. I'm sure it's, you know, some people aren't going to love everything they see with it. Some people will. Who knows? But it's always it's always interesting to hear player feedback on, uh, you know, what they what they like and what they don't. And I'm sure the the devs of this game will also take a look at that as well. So if you have any cool feedback, you can leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Peace.